In the next few minutes, I'll show you how to set up Google Merchant Center step by step so your products can reach more customers through the Google Shopping. So first of all, you want to understand the Google for the retail. Of course, call the Google Merchant Center. This one allows you to display your products across Google, increasing your visibility and attracting so much more customers. So it's really essential for e-commerce businesses looking to maximize the reach of the business goals. You can drive some more online sales, you can drive offline sales, you can build an online presence, and it's no secret that almost everybody in the world look out for products into Google.com. So basically, we can of course be the one who creates some sales inside the Google Merchant Center. To get started, you can want to visit the Google.com retail. So I'm going to choose the option that says start now. Really important to have a Gmail account in order to have access to the Merchant Center. So start by visiting this site. I'm going to hit now to get started. And basically what we can do is to manage this into the business manager or to get started too early for free. So basically I'm going to go for managed into my business manager of the google.com element. And here into my business or into the apps and service, I can look out for my account or create one Google services. So basically, as you can see, we have one service here. We have the Google services all in one. I have three of them. But today, I wanted to focus into the Merchant Center, which is my store. Now here, we don't have any store. There's nothing here. So let's go for add a profile. So let's go for create my business profile. Usually, it's going to be asking us to start building my business profile with the business name and the business category. This is, for example, how it should be appearing into Google. So let's say tech express solutions now go for create a business with the name and into the business categories let's say that we wanted to talk about i don't know maybe digital goods digital printing diagnostic design agency and go for next now do you want to add a location customers you can visit if this is truly online do you don't be scary at all just go here for no next where do you serve your customers so let's say that we are based into Spain or into Andorra. So let's go here, type Andorra, and we can type more countries. For example, we served into Mexico and we sailed into Spain as well. Next. And what region is your business based in? Let's say that we want to get started once again here into the United States. Let's go for next. And what contact details do you want to showcase your customers? Now here, in this case, I'm going to be adding my own website, which in this case should be this. It's going to be really important to enter my mailing address to verify that we are an actual legit uh, business account. So if I add, for example, the Stone Street, where's the city, where's the zip code, whatever, I go for next and I verify my account. Now to verify the Google Business Center, it's going to be asking you to add a really mailing services as well as a phone number and it's going to be providing you an actual code that you need to add directly into the merchant center now once you have done this process we can of course add your own services so for example we are doing project management we can add more custom services if you wanted to and go for next we can add your own business hours for example here we work uh, from friday thursdays wednesdays and that will be actually it. Let's go for continue. We can add a business description. This is an agency. Next. And we can add photos of your own business. We can add this later if you want to. You can skip this part. But I can suggest to you a lot that you add the photos of your store. Basically, like how it actually looks, where you are currently at, located, um, space about what you actually do during the day right so take your time to fill all of this information and go for continue in this case i'm going to skip this part because we have no image after all and lastly it's going to be asking you to import the google workspace the google workspace is for example like a custom uh, mail that you can use so you can add a gmail calendar whatever in this case we don't have this let's go for continue and lastly, we just want to make sure that my store now appears into my business profile. So here it is, it should be appearing here. Now, once I do have my business manager imported, let's go back into the Merchant Center. So we can start now with the overview. 
into the Arbor view, we can get started by enabling all of this element to show my products into Google. So I have added a business address. I have added my online store. Now, if you click into one element that you don't have, for example, adding your return policy, I hit into add. This one leads you directly into the return policy of your website. For example, this, I type the word policy. Something going to be really important to set up some sales, to start setting up some sales is to enable some taxes so you can start selling your products. So once you have added all of these elements into the overview of your merchant center, we can go into the products into the left part. Now, basically, if you already have products from your website, you can import them automatically into the Google Merchant Center. If you don't, you can just start from scratch. So here we have the product sourced of one product. We're going to start using them from a file, using them from Google Sheets, or to add products using the API. So let's go and add the products from a file. Enter a link of a file. I'm going to open a new tab. And I'm going to go directly into the website that I'm currently using for managing my store, which in this case should be the Shopify. So let's go back here into products. One of the most easiest way to import products into the Google Merchant Center is by using a Google Sheets. So if I go and look out for Google Sheets, I choose the option that says use a template. So I'm going to sign in with my Google account. I go for sign in. Let's go and select all of it. Continue. So basically what I need to do is to fill all the info about my product and show this or let's say downloaded it. So once you have added all the information about your website, about your product, just go for save and import it from the sheet that you have used directly here from the Google Sheets. So for example, you have and AB3, AB4, these are the current descriptions. We can just use them and to save them later. So you can see we have the labels, for example, availability, linked, image link, the price, identifier existence, branding, patterns, and item group, and much more. Basically, all of this information should be imported directly here into the Google Sheets. Now, here we can see that we have a total updated products. I have four and two products added. If I click this, if I close this into my products, I'm going to hit into the option that says all the products. It's crucial to define that your products are going to be added automatically. And even you have notification about your products in more countries if you want to add them. In my case, I won't do it so. And to my shipping and the returns, you can just go discuss the actual shipping policies of all the products you have just added, depending on, of course, to the content that you have added. You can, of course, create ad campaigns to sponsor your website. Check out the analytics and the summary of how we can actually get started um, and how well it did with the Google Merchant Center. We can check out, once again, all your products, how many people clicked into it, how many impressions did you have, the cost, cost per resource, to have the free listing. You can check out your online store. And lastly, you can check out your store quality, how well it has done since you created your Google Merchant Center account. So make sure your product's data is as complete as possible. We can use descriptive titles, high quality images, accurate pricing, everything imported correctly from the Google Merchant uh, sheet that were generated for us. So uh, if you want to promote your products further, you can connect them with the Merchant Center and check out here the ad campaigns. We have an actual full tutorial to advertise product into Google and let's say, for example, create a really great campaign for people who want to get started. Uh, so. so with the Google Merchant Center, guys, you're ready to reach more customers. Basically, a quick recap of what we did here is to create a Google Merchant Center account. We created a business manager account here into Google. We added our very first product and we check out the analytics and more tools for the Google Merchant Center. Remember to keep your product feed updated and regularly check for errors to maintain the best ability. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully, with all this being said, I can see you next time.